Guys, stop for a minute. Take a look at your wallet. Now your wallet says a lot about you. I just wanna ask, is it time for an upgrade? Our friends at Ridge are here to help you step up your wallet game. Their incredible wallet is light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge out of your back pocket. It slips into your front pocket. Ridge wallets hold up to 12 cards, plus all the cash that you need. You can choose from over 30 colors and styles. That includes carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It's the best wallet you can buy. You don't just have to take my word for it because there's over 40,000 five-star reviews. I was skeptical at first, but once I tried it, I never went back to my old wallet and I'm confident that you're gonna love it too. But guess what? No pressure. Test it out for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back. You get a full refund. If you decide to keep it, and I really think you will, it comes with a lifetime warranty. Go to ridge.com slash chael or just click on the link below. That's gonna get you 10% off plus free worldwide shipping and returns. I gotta ask the question, what is Conor McGregor doing? What's Conor McGregor after? And the question was even fed what I believe to be a guess of an answer to me. Is he just trying to get headlines? Is he trying to promote other brands while he can be other? That's not a rotten guess. I mean, that, 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 everybody's gonna have to start at that point. The juxtaposition you would make is those headlines, is those brands, those things that you're talking about as he sits in a reality, right? Reality meaning that it's true. So you're doing a competition. It's a sports show about competition. He's now down five O's. The math on that can't change much more or it's a lock and he can't come back and win. I just share for you. So why, why are we finishing it? I mean, there's a mercy rule that starts all the way at seven year old T-ball here in Oregon. It's called the mercy rule. If you get ahead by enough point, we are going to stop it. If it is not reasonable that the other side can come back, we're going to stop it. We have the same thing in wrestling. Do it 10 points in international style. We do it 15 points in the high schools and the colleges. If mathematically it's not realistic for the other guy to come back, let's, let's go home. And it's just an interesting spot. So before you think that Connor is out there and that's what he's doing, he's getting his brands. There's no plan to fight Chandler. Got an injury. He's got the side. He's got the road. I mean, Connor's got a lot of interest, right? He's got the new pub. He's the whiskey. But before you do that, you would have to ask yourself, did any of those brands get served? Or moreover, were any of those bands reasonable to be served? Did anything that Connor did because of his agreements and participation in this, and moreover, was it reasonable to assume anything that Connor does would be elevated? I don't think so. I don't think so. Media is always better than no media. I, I do understand that concept, but Conor McGregor is a machine. I mean, not not for nothing. How many eyeballs are you going to get? Where? How many are you going to get? You'll have an answer. I mean, there'll be there'll be an actual dedicated answer. But he could grab his phone and go to Twitter. How many is he going to get? Do you think that is it a different answer? Is it a lopsided answer? I mean, it's one of these things. It, it, if he went and did this for the experience, he's a very sharp guy. Conor's very strategic. He's got very good advice around him through Audi. And I only share that with you because if you think this is a ruse to get over and build itself up, we do see a lot of those. I could give you a lot of examples. I just, I don't believe that it would have worked. I don't believe that it has worked, but that isn't the point, right? The point is, could you reasonably assume it would work, right? You thought it was and that it ends up failing. And no, I don't think so. So the information that you would have, right? You're the great, you're the great puppet master. You're going to come in and you're going to participate in an event that's very serious to you, very serious to the industry, it's very serious to those next yet a generation with a dream. Very, very important vehicle. But you know, at the end of it, you're going to chicken out. I mean, you know, when this whole thing is said and done, I'm not going to do what I said I'm going to do. But the whole world won't care. They won't forget. They'll already at my pub eating the fries. They'll have already ordered the proper whiskey there. I don't think so. I don't think that's what happened. I think connor has been surprised here. I think when you ask the question, what's Conor McGregor going to do? I think he's, I don't know that he has a clear answer. I think he's sincere. I think he's sincere. And I'll tell you this before you, before you think I'm, I'm a mark or I'm falling for a gimmick. I'm the one that's always been right on Conor. I'm the one that shared with you what he's actually doing what the actual move is. 
have always been right. And I will admit, this is a guess. But I would guess, educated, so we'll call it a hypothesis, particularly understanding having been in a very similar position. I think he's sincere. I think he wants to fight. I think he plans to fight. I think he wants to fight Chandler. I think he plans to fight Chandler. I don't know if he's going to fight. I don't know if he's going to fight Chandler. But both of those things can be true at the same time. I think there's been some outside obstacles. I don't know that you'd have to you'd have to hire Perry Mason to find out why we didn't enter the pool, right? And that's okay. I don't I don't know that you have any weird. I don't think I don't know. That there's a story there to that. It, it just seems though that if we do acknowledge what's happening there, now we've got a scientific problem. We don't know, and that happens. That happens. Picograms a very real thing, right? You're not allowed to do steroids. John Jones tested positive for steroids, and he's allowed to fight. That's not a riddle. I, I didn't say it to confuse you guys. That's 100% reality. Would you like to get a little further into it? Would you like to get into the science? Okay, great. Every now and then you got fat cells. If you shot something into your muscle or you shot it into your fat, you get a very different result. And those cells, so something can get trapped. And it could be as small as a grain of, sight in an, a grain of salt in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. That's what a picogram is. And you could have a substance that's supposed to be out of your system in four months. And it's been four and a half years, but it's still in there. It's not in anybody else's, it's just in my brain. I mean, there's just things that happen I'm sharing for you. You want to make sure, right? You got to make sure that's... You, got, you have to make sure of this. And th there's so much more to that USADA rule. Oh, golly, I hope this fight happens. I hope this fight happens. I want it so bad. I want so bad Connor versus USADA. <laughs> But for a variety of different reasons. Like here, let me just give you guys an example. It is required, okay? And on your first day of law school, at every course in the country, you will be taught about what's known as clean hands. You must, 101, I mean, this is very simple stuff, but it will carry over. We'll go all to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court made a ruling yesterday about standing, for goodness sakes. Somebody didn't have standing and got all the way to the Supreme Court. Amateur hour, right? But the same thing goes with clean hands. you got to have clean hands when you come. So if Conor McGregor has avoided USADA because he has a substance in his system, it's a fail. If Conor McGregor didn't want to fail that, but wanted to be honest, he would have to reveal the substance that he had in his system, of which time they would fail him. Even if he didn't test positive for it. Even if he wasn't in the pool. If he says, I took D-ball right here, and he puts that on a form, and he fills it, and he has to fill this form out accurate, or it's perjury, but he doesn't accurate. He tells the truth. They'll find him in violation. That's not right, is it? Yeah, well, that's, that's the way to work. I'm just sharing with you. Now, nobody, not USADA and not an athletic commission, I mean, these athletic commissions, it, it's been maybe my biggest surprise. Perhaps my biggest surprise with athletic commissions is when a fighter lies to them and then brags about it to you. When a fighter goes out and they swear under penalty of perjury that they are not hiding any injury. And then they lose and then they go on Sports Center. They tell the world, oh, my knee was bad. I had to get through everything. Oh, I could barely walk. I heard it eight months. I'm such a tough guy. I went and did this. Anyway, right? And we, I mean, man, guys, we see this all the time. They're in a full, they're not two months that go by where we don't see somebody do that. But you've never heard of them ever coming back. So you're allowed to lie to them. If, how the insurance worked, possibly fraud happened. And you just move on. Like it just, it just didn't happen. And I only share that with you. That would be another interesting part of this when, when Usada gets in there with Connor. He's not injured because there's something in his system. Okay, great. But there's also going to be a time where you have to disclose that. Now, if you don't disclose it because the burden's on them and they can't prove it, you could go ahead and commit perjury and everybody could know it and nobody will do anything about it. It's a very interesting spot. It's a very interesting spot. This is a fight that I really want to happen. But when people do ask me, what is Connor up to? Is he just out there? Is he just trying to get attention? I know that that would be a reasonable guess, but it would seem like a guess made by a simpleton. And if that is what you think, did it work? Can you tell me what attention, through the process of the ultimate fighter, Connor tried to get? 
Can you show me an isolated time that Connor used that vehicle to build and promote or garner for something else? Could you could you show me that? So if you ask me if that why I did it, I'll play along, and I just did for exactly nine minutes. But I'd like you to now too. Real simple though, did it work? <laughs>